What's going on guys? Time to talk about another Western film in this uh, final week of 2021. I decided to watch 10 Western films for it, so we're covering them all now. So this is another one. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, last film by John Ford, and that's Cheyenne Autumn. It was released by Warner Brothers October 3rd, 1964, and oh boy does it have a lot of stars. Like Richard Windmark, Carol Bate. Uh, Baker, Carl Malden, Sal Messino, Richard Mon Montalbo, Dolores Del Rio, Gilbert Rowland, Arthur Kennedy, Patrick Wayne, and uh, Elizabeth Allen, just to name a few of them. And uh, yeah, it's written by James R. Webb, produced by Bernard Smith, and obviously directed by John Ford. Had a box office of $3.5 million. But just also, John Ford is the one guy who's uh, behind Ford Apache, the last man who shot Liberty Vance, she wore a yellow ribbon, and Rio Grande, and then a few of his other big works. Cheyenne Autumn is, um, nowadays probably considered racist film, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's American settlers taking over the Cheyenne tribe's land, and, uh, it's about their last stand defending for what they believe in, and their turf, and everything, because, Cheyenne Autumn area is like the last land, free land for them to settle on, and they're trying to take it over. The Americans are. Uh, it has quite the buildup because uh, I love the way this film starts. Uh, it starts off like your typical, almost like a war movie, um, where one American teacher wants to be a part of the Cheyenne tribe and goes with them helps them with the children whether they get hurt or not and you really feel for uh, her her feel her emotions throughout the film as she journeys with them trying to because she sees it differently same with some other Spanish lady that's what they're is the same way and uh they're traveling and trying to help out these uh warriors and they let them come along and uh yeah help see what they can do and then you got the Americans and uh, them pushing and you get your typical um, cocky young guy who thinks he could leave charge and fails horribly. And then, uh, yeah, but and the, the whole buildup is just people uh, taking sides and then trying to fight for really a pointless outcome. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this film is pretty good. I love the way it's set up and just like the tension of it build, building up because you know it's coming, but you're just not sure when. And they give you little snippets of like attacks and stuff as they try to hold off the Americans and that. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this film. This is probably one of my favorite Western films now. <laughs> this is my first time ever watching this. So uh, yeah, but I just love the way they... They, uh, they wrote the characters to um, be like somewhat likable but somewhat not on both sides and then they'll push for it because it is a dramatic thing that this stuff is based on and uh, obviously uh, they the native Indians do this for did this for thousands of years and then now all of a sudden these white uh, settlers are trying to push into on their turf and stuff it still happens today though so it's still relatable uh there's some powerful well-written characters in this film and i really enjoyed it and uh but like when you they talk about to the native america or the indians uh they talk in their own tribal language which they don't put subtitles under so it's probably just jibber jab or read jokes or something but um yeah uh, so you don't really exactly know what's coming up, which also adds to the suspense, of, the suspense of the film. And yeah, overall, this film is really well done. Like the writing, like I said, was really good. The acting's really good. Cinematography's outstanding. I love the look of it. And uh, overall, it's a fun time. And I like pretty much everything about this film. So I'm going to give this film a 5 out of 5 for Cheyenne Autumn. It's quite fun. Not everyone's going to like it. This is more of the weird, obscure Western that I enjoy. <laughs> but I know some people 
don't like it for different reasons and stuff. But for me, I think this movie is really well done. And I really enjoyed it. So uh, there's a chair link down below if you want to check it out. See what I'm talking about. That's always linked down below. So make sure you check out my Instagram. That's linked down below. Where Push Clips of Film is going to be in the future. All my story. I usually have the phone title hashtag. The subgenre of film and a hashtag. So you're aware of it. Also, make sure you check out my letterbox at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the film. So, follow me on one of those two is in the loop. Like this video, share so more people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any westerns or any other films and genres that you want me to cover uh, and let you know my opinions on, comment those down below too. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Yeah, and make sure you subscribe. Because so hopefully, find something weird, obscure, and. Uh, uh, that you probably, films that you probably never thought of checking out together or so you can hear my opinions on popular movies because nine times out of ten they're way different than everyone else's so make sure you subscribe and uh yeah hopefully uh we don't end up having a recap of the events like in Cheyenne Autumn and hopefully uh you have a good day and I guess I'll see you all in the next review so yeah, another really good movie to check out. I only got like three or four more westerns to check out. And then we'll probably be in the new year to uh, check out other uh, interesting and weird films. So, yeah. But, so make sure you subscribe to see what those uh, next four westerns are. And I guess I'll see you all in the next one. So hopefully it's good as this. So, till the next one. Cheers.